Do you have any idea how to use a plunger? Do you even know what plunger to use? Do plungers just wear you out? Or are you just completely clueless? Today, I'm gonna tell you how to use a plunger the right way. Now, y'all know there are multiple types of plungers. Today, we're talking about a toilet. And what we're gonna do, well, we're gonna show y'all some plungers, okay? The first plunger, well, it does exactly what it's supposed to for a sink, okay? It's flat. It goes in for like a sink surface. Man, this is great. It has good suction. So if you've got a good flat surface, you're fine. But if you ever looked at the inside of a toilet, does it look flat and smooth or anything at all like that? Well, no. That's trash, especially when you're working on a toilet. Now, if you've got a sink, well, you know what? That might give you what you want to do. But the correct plunger, well, that's one that you want. You want one that'll fit down in there. What I like about this, see how soft that is? I mean, really, do you see how soft that is? I mean, really, look how soft that is. I mean, you can play with it. When you've got a toilet that is shaped kind of funny, well, look at this, this will... This will go in there and take the shape of the funny bowls that we have these days. You want something that'll get in there and conform to the way it is so that you can do exactly what needs to be done. And that is create a bunch of force that when you're pushing down, there's only one place that it goes. You're trying to get this to seal off around the bowl so that it pushes all this air, all this pressure down through there to clear out whatever's clogged. And probably if you go look at your bowl, you'll see the way that it's shaped, it comes up and goes right back down to the drain. That's normally where clogs happen. So anyway, let's put this toilet down, let's go outside, let's get this toilet full, and let's get it unstopped, ready? First of all, don't be hating. I'm a plumber and a redneck. So yes, I invented a toilet trailer. Don't try to steal this from me. I'm working on a patent, but this is literally a trailer I hooked up to my truck. I can haul it around and guess what, peoples? It works. Bluetooth technology water lines. It's something that I've been working on for years and it's working very well. So I'm gonna show you another plunger, okay? So what I'm gonna do, that sink plunger I told you about, when you stick it down in here, I mean, man, you can tell it doesn't work. The water goes everywhere. <laughs> this is about useless when it comes to toilets. So what we're gonna do is, well, we're gonna try a different kind of plunger because I wanna show you what it's gonna be like, okay? So, this plunger, man, it slides in and goes right around it. The cool thing is when you push down on it, you get a little bit of water coming up, but not like the other one did. As you notice, I'm wearing safety glasses and rubber gloves just in case the little brown munchkins jump up out of the bowl and try to hit me in the eyeball. All right, so, ooh. So yeah, when you come in and you see Creatures of the Black Lagoon there, you know it, it's been stopped up for a little while. So anyway, Look, we have got about a quarter of a roll of toilet paper in here, and, and it stopped up pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and try to flush it just to see. Yeah, it just keeps filling up. Now, you know in an emergency situation, if you're over at your friend's house and you go to use the restroom and it stopped up and it starts coming up like that, you can pull the tank, reach in, and push the flapper, push everything down. That's gonna keep as much water from coming down in here. And then just reach down here and turn the angle stop off. On my professional trailer toilet, I really don't mind because if it overflows here, it's just a parking lot, don't nobody care. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and try and unclog it with the plunger and see what we can do. So what I tell people is, man, get it in, get it right back in that hole and kind of twist around because you kind of want it to situate down in there pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a couple of pumps. And as you can see, it, it, it didn't do a very good job. 
If a plunger doesn't work, you may need to use a closet auger. Plungers are a great thing to have around the house. I remember being on TV down in San Antonio and we were talking about the holiday season coming up and what we could do in case family was coming over. And she says, oh my gosh, I've got two young children and I don't have a plunger. And I immediately went back and thought about my little brother. My little brother used to try to stick anything and everything in the world down in the toilet. It was like his personal little playground. Anyway, having a plunger around the house was always good and it's something I definitely recommend you having around. But again, if this is something that happens often, you may wanna get a closet auger. Now, we've made a whole nother video about that and we'll put a link into it so you can go check that out. But man, I think it's just toilet paper. We can probably get it, well, it's a little brown toilet paper now, but I think that we can probably get that with this. Let's get serious about plunging now. Look at that puppy go down. That's what it's all about. Look here, if you got the right tools, I'm just saying, you have a better opportunity. Now, now that we got it down, like, we can go ahead and flush it again. Man, that puppy's going down good. So the cool thing about it is, with the right tools, with the right plunger, y'all saw what I did with that other plunger. It, it just didn't work. So if you're a plumber, or you're thinking about getting into plumbing, this is something you need to know how to do. To get in here every time and be able to take care of your customer. Now, what happens if you plunge this and you closet auger it, and nothing happens. Well, you may have a blockage a little further down the line. And remember, we got a vent pipe behind it, drain pipe goes out. You take that extra long closet auger, run it down there, and it doesn't get it, it doesn't do anything. You plunge it, it doesn't do anything. Well, you may have a break further down the line or a clog further down the line. At that point, you're either gonna get up on the roof, you're gonna go into a wall clean out, you're gonna do some other things. But as a plumber, an apprentice, a tradesman, anybody like that, man, you need to have the right plunger on your truck. You need to have a closet auger. You need to have the things you need to do your job right each and every time. So if you wanna learn how to use a closet auger, I'll put a link in there, go check it out, and I'll see you in the next video. When, as soon as I say plunger, go ahead. So the first plunger, the first plunger, the first plunger, well, I know, I felt it. No, I know, it's like with knowing where you're gonna reach to, it helps kinda, but yeah. I mean, look, <laughs> I mean, look how, look how soft and, look how soft and sweet that looks. <laughs> I mean, really, look how soft that is. I mean, you can play with it. <laughs> that don't even look right. How many of these can eat? <laughs> <laughs>